going matteless on the Cameo 5 is even better. We're going to look at the how and the why. Hi, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette. You found your way to Silhouette Success where I share all of my tips and tricks and fabulous tutorials. In this video, we are going to look at the new roller system on the Cameo 5. We are going to look at the brand new roll feeder. And then we're going to take a look at the pop out feature for cutting cardstock without a mat. If you're looking for some troubleshooting tips, stick around to the end. There's a little bit of information on getting the cut settings right. My page opened up to a 12 by 12 cutting mat, so let's switch that. I'm going to select no mat, custom media size, and enter five for the width, six for the height. This size script is perfect for decorating a coffee mug. Once the design is set, we can head over to the send panel. I'm going to set my material to vinyl mat, then get on to loading the Cameo 5. If you place the material to the right of the guide, you can see that the roller on the right hand side of the machine needs to be adjusted. The spring roller slide easily to the left and right. And the right hand roller has a tab on top that has to be lifted before you slide it. Once the roller is lined up with the right hand side of your material, you can set the tab back down. Readjust the middle rollers and then load the vinyl into your machine. Let's send that through. Silhouette has totally revamped the rollers on the Cameo 5 and I think it was a much needed improvement over the Cameo 4. This new system provides a better grip and pressure ensuring that the material stays in place during the cutting process. This improvement can lead to more precise cuts and less wasted material, but it will take some getting used to. It was designed to be more durable and long lasting, and this means that it can withstand more use and wear, making it a better investment in the long run. The Cameo 5's roller system is also more adjustable than the Cameo 4's. This means that you can easily adjust the rollers to accommodate different size materials, making the Cameo 5 more versatile and user-friendly. This new system allows you to cut scraps as small as 5 inches squared and up to 12 inches by 16 feet. So now you can go matless whether you're personalizing a coffee mug or creating a holiday-themed porch leaner. So go grab that scrap bin and give the new roller system a try. What are your thoughts on the new roller system? I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Of course, we have to talk about the new roll feeder. It is included in the box when you buy the new Cameo 5. This is not an extra purchase. I have to admit that I was not happy when I heard that it was no longer integrated into the machine. I have enough parts and pieces to keep track of. But this new system is so much sturdier than the built-in model on the Cameo 4, I quickly got over the fact that it was removable. To set it up, you'll need to remove this front cover, unlock the tabs, then press down on the arrows and pull out, one side at a time. You'll see two slots on the Cameo 5. And two tabs on the roll feeder. Just line them up and set the front of the machine down. And I like to give it a little wiggle just to make sure that it's in there properly. I have used the roll feeder a few times now, and I have to say that the vinyl feeds straighter and there is less chance of your project going off the rails. Now let's head back to Silhouette Studio and take a look at how to use the new auto cross cut feature. I'm going to leave the mat set to none, change my media size to 12 by 20. We can work on a little decal here, create something amazing. Head over to the send panel. You can see here that there is a setting for the automatic cross cut here under carriage two. This will only show up if you choose no mat in the page setup panel. Let's click on that little triangle and then we can check this box to enable the cross cut feature. 
This will stay on and become available anytime you cut with no mat. A blue dashed line appears under the design on the design mat and that shows you where the material will be cut off. I have relative to job selected here, which means that the software will automatically determine where to make the cut. You can also uncheck that box and use the offset slider here to have more control over this feature. Once we send that through, you can see the roll feeder in action. And bonus close up of the Cameo 5 cutting. Please take a second to like this video if you're finding the information here useful. It helps me to determine the type of videos that you would like to see in the future. When it is finished with a cut, you will see the blade head over to the left hand side, tap to adjust the blade depth, and then perform the cross cut. Using this feature is going to leave you with a nice straight edge on your rolled vinyl, which makes it easier to load straight the next time you want to cut without a mat which means there is less chance of your project getting all wonky in the machine. We're going to head back to the software and look at cutting cardstock without a mat. I'm going to leave my mat set to none. I'm going to change the material to a letter size and open up the flexi shape panel, grab a star here. Once you have your design ready, you can set your material to cardstock in the send panel. After that, click on the blade function. That's going to bring up a drop down menu and you can select pop out cut. Make sure that your rollers are adjusted to accommodate your cardstock, load the machine and send it to cut. I noticed immediately that the blade caught in the cardstock right at the beginning of the cut, so this one is not going to be great. This should have cut well enough that I could just pop the shape out with a little bit of pressure. But this is definitely tearing the edges in some spots. Let's adjust the settings and try again. I'll move the star over. I'm going to leave the blade depth at three because it did cut deep enough, but I'm going to decrease the force to 25 and add a pass. Fingers crossed. The results were slightly better, but still not satisfactory. This time I'm going to try a force of 21 and lower the speed to a three. Let's send that through. Keep in mind that cutting without a mat will cause the settings in the software to be off a bit. If you are unsure of the machine or the material, you'll want to start off with test cuts. I think we're on the right track, but let's give it one more go. We have a force of 18, speed of two, and two passes. Again, a touch better, but still not perfect. This method will work in a pinch, but personally, I'm going to stick to using a mat with my cardstock, unless, of course, you have some tips and tricks for me.
Now, if you are going to hang out on YouTube for a little while longer, check out this video. Otherwise, go create something amazing, and I will see you in the next video.